who was that? Cool. Spaghetti monster? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a basket star. So oh, is it for the real? The ones you were talking but about? all sprawled out? Yeah. That's oh, wow. massive. That's at least 70 centimeters. Have you seen one that big? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's interesting. Normally, our, when they have their arms extended, they have them up the air trying to catch particles. This one is just kind of hanging on on the edge. Whoa. Just trying to get a purchase. Is he, I wonder if he's all sprawled out because there's just nothing else to grab onto. Can we hold here? I don't know what he's doing. He only has, you can see, I'm seeing my cannon only has one arm sticking up in the air. Uh-huh. Well, in the water, rather. Wow. So, <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, this is a family of brittle stars, so the Corrigan Cephalidae. So, you see that it actually only has five arms, but each arm splits oh, into, splits into, uh, splits. It has like seven or eight different splits, so it's wow. like a fractal. Yeah, very fractally. Good description. Holy moly. That is wild. That's crazy. It's like, it's like a taproot system, for like palm trees and stuff. It really does seem like its own root system yeah. sprawling out. So this has to be a few years old. <laughs> I would guess so. Quite a bit, yeah. I just don't think a coral could hold that thing up. <laughs> That's probably yeah. why it's got to be on a rock. Yeah, sometimes you see, you know, big corals, you can see four, five, six of these basket stars. Uh -huh. So this is a filter feeder too? It's a special feeder, yeah. They, they use all the little ends of the arms to catch particles and bring to their mouth. But it has those mm. like large tentacle up top. That's uh, wild. This is giving some sci-fi yeah, horror it vibes. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> when you're flying around, you don't notice, but sometimes it can just cling to the ROV and it'll come up. It's just like Ooh, that. Onto it. That's I'm, a nightmare. I don't know if I can. Wait, this that. is the only thing I can't go home without a picture of. <laughs> <laughs> Get onto the share drive and be like, hey, I've, I've never seen anything like it. Quite like the size of it. No. Uh, I okay. said it's it's about half the basket width, so yeah. maybe a meter, but more like eighty or ninety centimeters uh -huh. wide. The lasers. Let's bring the lasers down and just look at what the. Oh, body actually, of it is. and I want to do a highlight without, without the lasers, lasers too. Okay. So it's not quite ten centimeters wide at the thing there, but if if one of the arms were to be dislodged, would it regenerate? That's what I was asking. Earlier. Like other. Uh, couldn't say the words. Probably. Yeah. I mean, the regular <laughs> arm. Yeah. Wow. Don't you said it. I was like, I don't Basket stars do regenerate their arms. It's interesting so how it's moving. And the ends are curling. And what would you all do if it yeah, just jumped good. at us? I, <laughs> this, I am equal parts uh, in awe and terrified of this thing. Like, I'm really glad we're not sampling it because I don't know if I could sleep knowing that it was on the boat. Yeah. Like... <laughs> no, they're gentle creatures. Uh -huh. <laughs> 